talking about Mr. Guy responding to this, um, was Ms. Calhoun's name brought up? Yes. It was a couple days before her memorial service, which was the end of October. All he said was he didn't think she was happy with her husband, who was less, and that maybe he could get her back. Maybe he could get who back? Janie. Huge moment inside the courtroom today. Tex MacGyver shot and killed his wife. He says it was an accident, but a week before his wife's memorial, he was talking about pursuing his dead wife's friend who he dated back in the 90s. That was just one of several big moments today. Earlier tonight, sat down with my legal dream team, Prosecutor Latonya Hines and Defense Attorney Daryl Cohen to get some perspective on what happened in court. She was distraught, is what I saw. He was red-faced, with a stern look on him. I've just not seen too many people that look like that. Is this evidence that there were problems in this marriage? Yes, without a doubt. Show me a couple that's been together for more than a week. I'll show you a couple that's had an argument. Tex is already talking about selling the condo. Tex had asked us what we thought it would cost to put that condo back as a condo if he wanted to put them on the market. And this was less than 24 hours after Ms. McGyver. It was either, I went Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night, it was one of those three nights. Is Tex obsessed with money? He may be obsessed with what he has to do with the money that he hopes he will get. I think that's the motive for this whole entire case. The loan was for $350,000. Tex owed Diane $350,000 from that loan, never paid it off. And you said that loan was renewed? It was renewed. Is that the motive? No, it is not. He had to pay interest. He paid interest. She forgave the rest of it, in effect. If you give money to a family member, don't expect to get it back. He thought she had more money than what she had. He was surprised at the number that was in her checking accounts. There was only about $400,000 in her accounts. The fact that she may or may not have had as much as he thought, so what? Well, it happens a lot of times. People go and rob people, and they think they have more money than what they have. The sign outside the ranch, we don't dial 911. Which is worse, that sign or his first name, Tex? Hey, his first name could be Rambo. Tex is worse. Don't dial 911 on your ranch. Uh, not good. But Tex makes me think of a cowboy. While talking about Mr. Guyver's finances, um, was Ms. Calhoun's name brought up? Yes. It was a couple days before her memorial service, which was the end of October. All he said was he didn't think she was happy with her husband, who was less, and that maybe he could get her back. Maybe he could get who back? Janie. Does this show Texas' true feelings about Diane? The eyes of Texas were upon her. Yes, it's one more thing to show you that he didn't necessarily want to be with Diane, but he did want her money. Who had the better day today, prosecution or defense? Prosecution all day long because they keep getting their story out there about the money, the need for the money, the fact that Tex, whether or not the defense wants you to know it or not, is angry. It's defense because the defense did not have to cross-examine the witnesses to realize so many of them were not credible. And quite frankly, the state has started their case with a dud. You can watch each day's testimony of the Tex MacGyver trial streaming live on 11alive.com and on our 11 Alive Facebook page. And you can join me and my legal dream team on Facebook Live at 7.30 each day. You are the 13th juror. Uh, court is in session. We'll answer your questions and uh, take a look at your take on the case.